Hello, and welcome back to Attorney Advertising 101. I'm John from White Raven Technology, and today we're going to be talking about my very favorite advertising platform for attorneys or any industry, Facebook. The purpose of this video and article are to give you, the attorney, a general understanding of how Facebook advertising works. We won't be covering the hands-on of implementing a Facebook campaign as that's a very deep topic and we'll be covering it in depth in a future series. So if you're ready to learn about how Facebook advertising works for the legal industry, let's get to it. Facebook advertising exemplifies a profound shift in the way advertisers are able to reach their target markets or audiences. Facebook as a platform has more than a billion daily active users. This is unprecedented in the history of, well, any platform. Because of the vast amount of data they have on those users, Facebook's advertising platform gives advertisers the ability to target their advertising in extremely specific ways, which we'll talk about shortly. Combine an audience that covers nearly anyone you might know or want to reach with the ability to reach them and you have an amazing opportunity to market your services to exactly the right people in exactly the right way. Not every attorney will benefit to the same degree from Facebook advertising, however, so let's take a moment to discuss who it will be good for. Unlike a platform like AdWords, with Facebook ads, we don't have the benefit of intent. Our intended audience isn't necessarily looking for a service provider at the moment, like we know they are when they search for a personal injury attorney on Google. Facebook is going to be better for attorneys whose potential clients aren't in immediate need of their services or who don't know that they need those services. So this might include practice areas like estate planning or small business representation. That's not to say that there's no value for personal injury or real estate or other types of firms, however. You can still accomplish very effective branding campaigns, much like billboards on the highways, but you won't see the same return from this kind of Facebook advertising. So what do these ads actually look like? Well, you're probably already very familiar, but let's take a quick look anyway. To keep things simple, we'll restrict our focus to ads shown within Facebook itself. The most popular ad type is the newsfeed ad, and this will come in one of a few formats the image ad, the image carousel ad, or the video ad, each of which will link to your landing page. Facebook also offers a right-hand column format that's much less expensive but also much less effective. It's worth testing, but generally not the preference among Facebook's ad types. One other odd format of ad would be the boosted post. This would be a link, an image, or video that you've shared to your firm's page on Facebook and that you then turn into an ad by boosting it with money. This will mean that more of your page fans or any audience that you create will see that post. Now let's talk a bit more about those audiences or the people you'll target your advertising to on the Facebook platform. As I mentioned, Facebook has a lot of information on its users including general demographics, including their gender, age, marital status, and ethnicity, and so forth. Financial information, including their number of credit lines, household income, net worth, and so forth. Interests, including television, movies, music, and more. Employment information, including employment status, industry, and job title. And behavioral information, including users more likely to click or convert from an advertisement. The list of means through which you can target a group of people is incredibly extensive, which means we can save a great deal of both money and time by not wasting our advertising on non-ideal users. Compare this to commercials on television or billboards on the highway. You'll certainly have some indication of who is most likely to view your advertising, but nothing even remotely approaching the kind of fidelity you get with the Facebook platform. So, if you're an estate planning attorney, you could target men who are 50 to 60 years old, who have a net worth of at least $500,000, and who like the Bloomberg Markets, Wall Street Journal, or Financial Post pages on Facebook. That's a much, much better audience than anyone who drives by my billboard on Highway 49, right? This is the power of Facebook advertising. 
And if your firm's services could benefit from reaching users who may not even know that they need you, this is the way to reach them. Before I move on to talk about another major aspect to consider with regard to Facebook advertising, the bid types for your campaigns, let's take a moment to talk about the incredible importance of split testing on Facebook. I've covered this in much more depth in part two of this series, but I want to reiterate it here. As I mentioned, we can build very specific audiences utilizing a number of different factors. Taking the estate planning attorney's audience as an example, you could split test your ads on any number of those factors. For instance, you could create tests like 50 to 54 year olds versus 55 to 60 year olds, or people with a net worth between $500,000 to $750,000 versus $750,000 to a million versus a million to two million versus anyone over two million. Or people who like Bloomberg markets versus people who like Wall Street Journal versus people who like the Financial Post page. You might find that 53-year-old men whose net worth is between $750,000 and $1 million and who like the Bloomberg Markets page are your most profitable target clients, the ones most likely to convert to a lead at the lowest cost. Another important factor to test, and one that even some of my mentors miss from time to time, is desktop computer users versus mobile device users. You might find that your ads are simply less effective for one type of user versus the other. Again, it's incredibly important to your return on your investment that you carefully and methodically test as many factors as you can within reason and without testing too many aspects at any one time. So don't skip this step. Now, the last thing we should discuss in our overview of the Facebook platform is the bidding strategy for your campaigns, or how you're going to be charged by Facebook for using their platform. There are a lot of options that you'll see when you come to this step of building a campaign, including cost per mil, or cost per thousand impressions, cost per click, optimized cost per mil, which can be optimized for clicks, page likes, conversions, and so forth, or cost per action. The possibilities here are numerous, so here's my recommendation. Just use Optimized Cost Per Mill, or OCPM, for conversions or clicks to your website in the beginning. In this case, Facebook is only going to show your ads to the users most likely to complete the desired action, clicking your ad or submitting a form once they get to your page. You'll be charged for every 1,000 impressions of your advertisement, regardless of how many people click it. In the vast majority of cases, you can very quickly and affordably split test and optimize your ad campaign for the best return on investment using this bid strategy. For a much more detailed look at bid strategies for Facebook, I recommend checking out the excellent article written by Ad Espresso on the subject, and I've included the link to that in the article for this video. Well, that completes our whirlwind tour of Facebook advertising for your law firm. Again, going into the hands-on of implementing a Facebook ad campaign will be covered in a future series. I just wanted you to have a general understanding of how the platform works and whether it would be a good fit for your law firm. As always, if you have any questions, let us know in the video or article comments or on any of our social profiles. We love talking about this stuff. Finally, I hope you'll join us for the next video in the series, Basic LinkedIn Advertising. So, until next time, Happy marketing.